Now listen, I already told you once, boys. Nobody's looking for trouble here. Hey, Not hey. today. What's going on here, huh? Huh? You two punks got nothing better to do than go around messing with my mom? Because if you mess with her, you're messing with me, all right? Relax, guy. We were just yeah, leaving. Yeah, leaving. Yeah, leaving. No kidding. I'm getting lost. Oh, thank you. Oh, my gosh. I think they were just kidding. What, what happened? Are you okay? Oh, I'm fine. But you, you were so sweet. Uh, do you two know each other? Uh, uh yeah, sure. Uh, uh, this is Ricky. <laughs> he's, um, he's, uh... Gabby's brother, Ricky Garza. Oh, Ricky, I'm sorry. Forgive me. Listen, are you, are you sure you're okay? Look, I heard two guys have been going oh, around here. No, so... I'm fine. And it's just a glorious 4th of July, isn't it? Kevin's back, and Allison's feeling so much better. Lots of reasons to celebrate. Oh, yes, and if I don't get the hot dog buns that Victor forgot, we'll never get started. <laughs> Are you sure you're okay? Oh, I'm fine. I'll be back before you know it. And thank you for playing you're cavalry. Welcome. That was so sweet of you. He called me mom. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you later. Bye. See you. Bye. So. You kind of stumbled around introducing me. I'm sorry. It was Frank's mom. I guess it's going to take some time until it comes out easy that you're my date, my new boyfriend, <laughs> my lover, my uh, fabulous new lover. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, how's it going, man? Frank. Where are you? Libby. Dad. Hi. Hi, what are you doing here? Uh, it's the 4th of July. We're having a picnic. I left you a voicemail. You did? Yeah. You are, uh, I didn't check it. Well, you're here anyway, so? Yeah, I'd, I would, I would really love to celebrate that, but... But what? I can't. I'm sorry. Honey, what is it? And where's Ray? He's not here. Uh, well, good. Actually, I wanted to talk. About you. And Ray. Do not swing her too high. Keep oh. an eye on your sister, okay? okay. Bye. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be the absolute best 4th of July in the entire history of 4th of July. I've got my doc back, and we're all together, and it's gonna... Rafe! Oh, hi. Oh, what are you doing? Are you here all by yourself? Kinda. I just had to get out to think a little. Maybe uh, figure things out, or have you already? Nope. But you know what? It's it's good to know I have family around, even though I don't remember them. <laughs> I know you do, though. Really, Rafe, you do. I mean, I, I'm family, and those two little girls over there—they're your family, and we just want to help you any way we can, and, and be with you. So if you if you want to. Ask me anything, anything at all. Go ahead, feel free, anything. Here, what? Sit, sit down. Okay. Uh, I tell you what. Go ahead. Fire, fire away. What, what, what kind of questions you got there? I don't know where to start. Um. Okay. Why don't we start with um, maybe your marriage? Oh, good. Let's jump right in. <laughs> um. Well, I know Livy loves me. I mean, really loves me. No matter what else she's done, I know that's true. Oh, well, goody for Livy, but come on. How do you really feel? How do you feel about her? I don't know. It's hard to be sure of anything when such a huge chunk of my life is just, well, it's, it's not there. Right, but I get the feeling that you sense things and feel things about certain things, like maybe Allison? Well, see, that, that's funny. I mean, I, I saw her face in my dreams, even when I didn't even know her name, and I just felt like I, I had to find her. I'd, Always, and I, I didn't know why. I'll tell you why. Because, Rafe, I have never seen two people more in love than you and Allison. And I believe that is why you couldn't stay away. Yeah, but, but I'm, 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 you know. I know, you're married to Livy. But you belong with Allison. I'm your father. If we can't talk about what's going on, then. Oh, honey. Daddy, I don't know what to do. 
Everything's so messed up. It's going to be all right, honey. God, I've missed you so much. I missed you, too. I'm back, OK? I'm back. I know you've been through an awful lot, but we can make a difference there, together. We have to be completely open with each other, OK? So when Lucy told you I'm, I'm some sort of a monster, that I did all these horrible things to Allison? No, no, honey. It's just you and me. There's nobody else. Honey, I'm your father. I don't care what you might have done or what you might not have done. Whatever the truth is, you're my daughter, and I will always love you. No matter what. No matter what. It's all right. It's a small town. We know the same people. We're going to bump into each other. It's that easy, huh? I'm not saying I'm happy about it, but I've got to accept it, right? I just want the best for you, Karen. For you, too. At least I learned a big lesson. You break something, there are consequences. And this would have happened if I hadn't flipped out. But I did. I just don't want you to feel like you've got to hide now, not from me or anyone else. So, no hard feelings. Yeah, no hard feelings. All right, then. See you around. See ya. Not really over for you, is it? Just tell me the truth. Trust me. I do trust you, Dad, and, and the truth is, it wasn't me. I don't know who set Allison up, but I wasn't even around for, for most of it. I, I was with Rafe. OK, honey, but what, what about Rafe? I mean, no one seems to have known about this special relationship you two had. It's because we didn't want to hurt anyone. Not Jack or Allison and I certainly didn't want you thinking that I was cheating on Jack. Honey, why didn't you just tell me then? Because it just happened. Dad, we just, we fell in love and got married. It just... So where is Rafe now? He's so confused. Dad, there's so much he still doesn't remember. Honey, I could work with him. No. No, no, Dad, please. He's got a thing with doctors ever since the first doctor disappointed. And I, I, I think he just needs some peace and quiet and love. And that's what I can give him. I can make this right, because I really, really do love him. I know you do. But I also know how much damage has been done to all of us over the last year. Maybe I don't know why we had to go through so many strange events, but it's taken a terrible toll. And you don't believe a word I'm saying? No. No. Honestly. Honey, I'm saying that whatever phenomena comes our way, our lives are still about trying to find that one person that we want to spend our life with. But the only way to do that is to be completely open, totally honest, or else it doesn't work. I just want you to be happy. me happy. Dad, he's, he's my husband. Can you just be glad for me? Please don't be like everyone else. Effie. Please, Dad, don't ruin it. Don't take Allison's side against me. If Allison and I were, were meant to be together, how come when, when I look at her, I, I just, I, I, 
I don't remember anything about a relationship. Not, not, not what she likes, what we like, anything. OK, I, I... OK, um, I hear you. Maybe you. Maybe you just need to spend more time together. Well, I, I tried to see her, but her friend, Jack, he was watching over like a pit bull, said, I'll kill you if you <laughs> hurt her. I, well, what's that about? I don't want to hurt her. What? I know, I know you don't want to hurt her, but you've kind of hurt her as much as anybody could hurt her. See, she loves you so very much, and now she's got the man that she loves doesn't even remember okay, her. OK, okay. What, what if, um, I'll just talk to you more, and, and you'll show me pictures. Uh, and, no, and, and, and no, I, I gotta uh, do you that. know, and, no, we, we could talk together. I could talk till the cows come home. But that's not what's gonna happen here. You, you maybe need to just talk with Allison. I think the two of you together need to figure this all out. But are you sure that that's what she really wants? Ray, she's been waiting for you. Since the moment you left, all she's been doing is waiting for you.